So um, I would be interested to hear uh, more about your view about the evolving relationship between um, AI and humans. It's like AI's personal companions and like personal AI yeah. in the future. Um, you know, there, there, I think there's a very open question of is what people want like uh, sort of a very capable senior coworker or do they want like an echo of themselves? Uh, it seems clear at this point we'll all be like spending a lot of time talking to AIs, but are we going to treat them like colleagues or are we going to treat them like extensions of ourselves? Mm. I don't, I don't think we know yet what we all, I mean, we may want different things. I don't even think we know what most people are going to want though. And the only way that I think we'll figure that out is by uh, letting people sort of explore all of these options. It seems clear that people are going to spend more time talking to AI uh, than in the future than they do today. But what, what that feeling is like, uh, or kind of like the way we use these things, um, I could see it going either way. Uh, I think what I want is like something like a super competent colleague that knows absolutely everything about me, my whole life, you know, every email, every conversation I've ever had, but doesn't feel like an extension of me. It's clear that like I'm me and that is this other like separate thing. Separate thing. Um, and, and also the one of the kind of like potential visions for AGI that I think is compelling is that it's not some fundamental new black box magic box in the sky, but it's just like a bunch more entities running around contributing to the sort of mm -hmm. knowledge scaffolding and tool building of mm -hmm. society. So society is already sort of like an AGI to either of us, like it's vastly more capable. And that collective intelligence does not exist in her brain or his brain. It is, it is in the space between the knowledge we've built up, the sort of tool chain that we get to use. Like that iPhone is not gonna get built by one person, um, but it is sort of like a superpower once you have it that you get to build on further. And so if AGIs just contribute to all of that, I think it's like a framework for a very good sort of like, it's a, it's a good framework for thinking about how humans and AI coexist. Building on that, do you think that they're gonna be, we're gonna need like more social capacities or like mental capacities? Like what is missing in current LLMs to have the more intimate relationship between humans and AI? Um, well, I think the biggest problem is just the, that they're not very good. Like GPT-4 relative to what I hope we have soon is just this incredibly dumb model. And, and so it's like not that helpful. If we go back to that senior colleague, it's not a very thoughtful senior colleague. It makes a lot of dumb mistakes. It can't really reason. So I, I think we just like, we're so far off where we need to be from the capabilities. Okay. 